So it's my wife's birthday this month, and she requested a flower press. So I'd like it to be made out of oak, but the only oak that I have are these reclaimed boards that I got from a guy on Craigslist. He told me they came out of a bathroom, but he didn't tell me why. So we're just gonna go ahead and assume that it was only water and nothing else. I had three panels to glue up in total, and these boards were pretty warped as you can see. So I had a lot of jointing to do before I could cut them all down to size. Once they were all flattened out on one side, I brought them over to the table saw and cut them down to the right width. Then I cut them down to 14 inch sections on the miter saw. This was actually a little more than I needed. I just wanted to give myself some extra room in case I made a mistake. So a flower press, if you didn't know, is used to flatten and remove moisture from flower and plant clippings so that you can either collect them, scrapbook them, or use them in other decorative projects. Once you have your clippings, you lay them down in between sheets of cardboard that are then placed in between these two boards and clamped together. Once all the panels were glued up, it was time to get them down to the right thickness and remove that flooring texture on the top side. I decided to give the top panel a little bit of a profile, so I set my saw blade to 80 degrees and I cut a slight bevel on all four sides, which unfortunately left a bunch of scorch marks that I had to sand off later. Then it was time to mark out and drill some holes in the top and bottom panels. The middle panel is going to be more narrow, about the same size as the cardboard strips, and that's just there to add some rigidity to all the cardboard in case you have a lot of plant clippings to press. So this seems to be the most common design is to use what are called carriage bolts. And I'm showing you right here, probably a little too close, but there is a square shape right underneath the head of the fastener. And that's used to seat into the material that you're using it on to prevent it from turning while you're tightening a nut on the other side. So now that the holes are drilled, I need to use a chisel to square out four of them. Now that I know how much space that I have between the bolts, I mark off and cut the middle panel down to size.
Once all the cutting was done, it was time to sand everything down to 320. And I needed to spend a little bit of extra time on some of the organic shapes, like the cracks and knots, to make sure they were nice and smooth. So I have to apologize for this next clip. I just got a new lighting set up and I'm still getting it figured out, but it's conflicting a little bit with my camera and I'm getting that banding effect going on here. So I'm still working on it, but I'm definitely, probably sure that it's not gonna happen again. Once all the sanding's done, I'm just using a tack cloth to get all the residual dust off before I give each piece four coats of shellac on each side. Just using a circular pattern going from top to bottom and then rotating the board to give it an even finish. So I got these fasteners from a big box store and there were some markings left on the top of the carriage bolts. If you run into the same issue, just use some acetone or some fingernail polish remover and it comes right off. Once all the pieces were finished and ready to assemble, I started cutting out eight cardboard sheets to go in between the top and bottom panels. Once you're ready to assemble, you just drop all of the carriage bolts into their respective slots in the bottom panel. Then you flip the board over. And what I'm doing here is using a quarter inch washer with a lock washer on top of that, and then a nylock nut on top of that, just to try and prevent the carriage bolts from getting loosened up over time. Then I'm just adding four sheets of cardboard, the center panel, and then four sheets of cardboard on top of that. Then you just weave the screws through those holes in the top panel. You drop some washers on top of that and then screw on your wing nuts. I'd love to be able to show you a test of this, but the internet tells me that it's best to keep clippings in a press for up to three to four weeks. So. I don't have anything to show you in regards to how well it works, but the design itself really hasn't changed much. I'm pretty sure it's going to work just fine. So considering that this used to be a bathroom floor, how do you think it turned out? Let me know in the comments. If you're into watching builds using reclaimed wood, check out this video at the top where I build a cherry picture frame out of an old butcher block. If you found this build helpful or entertaining at all, please do me a favor and elbow drop that like button, subscribe for more reclaimed and craft item builds. Thank you for watching as always and I will see you next time.